Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another Cumbrian exploration, part of my series of investigations in this wonderful rolling countryside. And once again, as my guide and uh, tour operator, <laughs> the wonderful Robert Croser. Hello, Robert. Hello, Richard. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, we are in a, the end of a village called Shap. That's correct, where, yes. Where would you pin Shap on a map? <laughs> pin Shap, pin on, Shap a map. on a map? Shap is about 10 miles south of Penrith. It used to be on the main north road. It's a sleepy little village now. But back in the day, it was very busy with... Um, it was a coaching inn, lots of coaching inns and uh, lorries and what have you. It was very busy, but as soon as the railway, which is just over there that's the main west coast main line and the m6 were built it kind of shut itself down and is this very the, sleepy this the old a6 this, this is this the old a6 like a step here it's still quite busy yes it's you can tell. well the occasional car and lorry there's a, there is a lorry coming but yep. if i just whiz around here you'll also see yep. uh that's the old a6 um we're here to see a stone circle but before we get to the yes, stone sir, circle right. We are looking here at these beautiful hills. Where? What are we looking at just in the distance there? These are the northwest fells of the Lake District. I don't know all of the names, but they're, it's they're, a fairly, they're fairly unexplored as far as the Lake District's concerned. And it's lovely rolling moorland. It's a bit blustery today, but in a, a sunny windy. day, it's beautiful out here. Yes, yeah, no, fantastic. Anyway, we, uh, we're, we're not looking at um, the, the Lake District. Nope. We're crossing the A6 because there is a stone circle. But on the way, let's just um, cross here before. Oh, we're nice and peaceful. There's an interesting car here. <laughs> but it's not the car. Yeah, yeah, it's my old banger. But it's not that. We're going into a field here, just over there. Um, I'm going to talk about the uh, smoking chimney you see in the background. But I must show you this. Have a look at these rather grotesques. Moles. What are they? Why have they got moles hanging from the barbed wire? It's, it's, it's a local thing. I think um, pest control, the mole men, I think they're called. They are here to, well, basically get rid of the moles. And to show the farmer they have actually done the job, it's an old custom that they would hang the moles off fences and gateposts, off trees even. Round here, you'll occasionally find a tree with crows hanging from it rooks hanging from it Gosh. it's to get rid of local what they say as pests yeah it's an old custom that hasn't died out here so uh, <laughs> if we see any people hanging from trees we know that they were a few human pests oh yes there's one or two knocking about yeah come on we're gonna go yes. cross Let's. cross cross this fence through this gate I'll let you do the honors and in the background there smoking away there are four strange looking chimneys this is a qu uh, quarry it's a hardendale quarry it's a granite quarry um they also break it up for use as hardcore aggregate um i think gravel as well they, they crunch it up for gravel it's still busy you can see it's still working it's the major employer in the area it's rail linked to the west coast main line uh, as you can see um it's very busy it's all all year round those chimneys are going i think it's i think it's chemicals or something that they use to break it down here's the exciting thing <laughs> this isn't the most impressive you've told me no but no it, it is here in front of us the stone circle this doesn't have any particular name does it it's the shop ring i believe it's called right it's the remains of one originally it was a hell of a lot bigger than this and it was at the edge of a stone avenue that comes from shap itself and it was a lot bigger but it was just partially destroyed by the coming of the railway the rest of it is buried underneath the railway oh my goodness what a shame it is it is it's quite it the very large stones but when they built the railway they said so this. the victorians don't have any respect for this kind of thing and they run a railway right through the middle of it 
And there it is, there's the yep. railway. I'm just going to climb onto the top of this here to try and get a... a shap granite, by the way. Oh, shap granite. Yes. <coughs> it's a sort of orangey, pinky granite. Here we go. I'm, I'm up the top here so we can see a bit more of the ring behind us there and you can clearly see where it must have gone round and then yes, it was quite there's, large. there's the railway and going that way and if I just pan down here there is Sir Robert this way that way <laughs> on <laughs> this beautiful way. beautiful landscape we're not going to hang around here we are going to the other end of Shap because yes. there are another different type of ruin I suppose something that's left in the yes, landscape yes there's a uh, Shap Abbey it's a very peaceful scene isn't it isn't it very it's very tranquil we've just moved um, to the other side of Shap now and we're by this rather beautiful bridge that goes across a, a small uh, river but this is not the Eden is it no 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 I'm, I'm not sure what river this is there's so many rivers in this area it could be any we're gonna clamber up the bank here past this uh, peculiar little timber framed house with shingles on the roof and a, but an unoccupied it's got a sole chimney there there's a sign there which directs us a brown sign to the shap they, it abbey does, it is yes. in the middle of nowhere we're at the bottom of a valley aren't we we are yes and look over this bridge here that's a a beautiful little that's the river there the beautiful river stream whatever you want to call it but ahead of us the remains of the abbey which is uh, what we've come to investigate in this half of the video yes so let's take a walk up there and have a look welcome to Shap Abbey it says and there's some blurb about it telling us the abbey was founded about 1200 by the local baron called Thomas son of Gospatric it's absolutely amazing and the river is the river Lowther it tells I believe us. so not the river Ellen no we're coming in yeah there's there's chickens by the looks of things yep just having a rummage around now all they are what's left of the monks <laughs> an order of chickens perhaps that's what pre monastrish tensions <laughs> the honor of the bantams there they are hello bantams <laughs> and there the abbey is laid out before us it is and here is a lovely little doorway which must have one time taken you to a stair well it will upstairs. probably be locked I would think it is locked yeah, yeah. And, and just look above you where the crows now fly yeah. the Robert Crows yeah that's it well done well it's nice that they they left the gatehouse so you get a sense of its beauty of course there's all these different um, interpretation boards yes and there is enough here there's quite a lot here yeah to show you the layout you know these these columns which must have risen up to great heights enough to give you an idea and actually if you look up there you can see the roof line yep just above right at the top there of how big it was oh yeah and another doorway right above where the little door that I saw earlier behind is um, a farm a working farm which I think has most likely used a lot of the, the original stonework that came from well, the Abbey yeah Wouldn't you be at can all see something from the Abbey built oh, yeah. in the wall there it does look very nice it, does. it says here visitors are forbidden to climb on the walls by the Ministry of Works didn't know there was a ministry of works and this must be the cloisters that we're yes. walking in here you're going around the square the cloisters so I'd be protected by the roof and I could be meditating or taking in some very important thing and then look through here interesting arched roof yeah not sort of vaulted in the normal way but a barrel roof yes it goes it's called right over the top there like that what a beautiful place but it's certainly in the most beautiful setting yes I think it, I've seen abbeys in the area uh, like Lanacost that's that's still largely intact compared to this but this is in a much more remote tranquil setting 
I can understand why the monks actually built here because it's so peaceful. It's come out of here. I mean, what's what's amazing is you've still got all these um, recesses for doors yep. and gates and all of that. I'm going to go round the cloister. And you just get a sense of how big it must have been and how uh, impressive come across these very thick walls and on, on video of course th this is really just not doing it justice by any means there's a, a bit of a column that's still left standing and you can see how they were manufactured yep. with these set of blocks balanced one on top of the other raising up to to hold the roof the timber frame roof perhaps a hammer beam roof that is now no longer here and there the gatehouse looking absolutely splendid there's something I always think there's something rather magical about standing in the ruins because it means you have to use your imagination yes yes and whereas when something's all complete you couldn't see through it we're able to see right through all the different rooms through the, imagine the monks being here the abbey it's just the... incredible even the soldiers coming through here and taking all the, the valuables and the chalices well, that, and everything. That, exactly, that's the that other thing, things. isn't it? That you, you, you think of the monks, but rarely do you think of the, the, the people who were sent to dis, dismantle it. Yeah. And because they I weren't mean, they blowing it up with gunpowder, they were knocking it down. It must have taken them forever to knock it down. A couple of oxen, block and tackle. Yeah. Horses, picks and shovels, I would think, you know. Coming back down this way, you get more of the river. And 1200, you see this, this river may have been a lot higher and boats may have been possible. There certainly was a mill here because they, they produced a lot of grain and everything. Yes. And I believe there's a, there's, there is a remains of a fish pond somewhere. I've yet to find it. But if you look at the farm itself, there's a couple of carvings. If you look above the main door there, oh, yeah. there's a green man carving. That's obviously come from the Abbey. Well, Robert. Well, Richard. Yes, thank you, very well. This has been fascinating. Um, you just can't do it justice no. on video. You, you've got to come, you've got to spend a bit of time looking at the, dis at the display boards and, and understand the, the layout of the rooms and think about it. You found some interesting uh, things, a grave at the yes, far end by, the, by wind, the altar. Yeah, the east which window. Which is now obviously exhumed, but you saw that there was headrest for the body yes. down in the thing. And there's, there's another one over there. They're littered with there's them, actually. There's a few, actually. yes. There's quite a few here. And of course, there would have been, and, and effigies would have been here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. just think about those sort of things that you would see in some of the grand churches and some of the, the larger cathedrals. All that splendour. But Absolutely. It, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. And, and huge. It is big, it is. It's not the biggest round here. But anyway, you've got to come. You've got to come and have a look. Absolutely. So if you're in the area, come up to Shap Abbey. Thank you for taking me around. That's not a problem, Stone Richard. Stone circles, hanging moles. Oh yeah, that's tragic. <laughs> the, the it's wonderful, tradition, you know. <laughs> the wonderful, the, wonderful uh, the Pennines, which we didn't see, but the um, Lake District Hills, the yes, Fells. Yes, we did, yes. And an abbey, all in one video, ladies and gentlemen. Where else could you get that? Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe. If you fancy it, why not become a patron? Support what we do. Your money really helps. Put petrol yes. in the car and get me to these interesting places. An abbey with chickens. You don't see that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Till the next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Robert. Welcome. Bye for now. I was about to say, and a couple of cocks, but I thought... No, no, no I'm glad you didn't say that. <laughs>